Welcome to Cute E-Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the oxidation, description of damage, oxygen, most often present as a component of air, approximately 21%, reacts with carbon steel and other alloys, at high temperature, converting the metal to oxide scale, and thereby reducing the metal wall thickness. Affected materials All iron-based materials, including carbon steel, and low alloy steels, both cast and wrought, are affected. All 300 series, 400 series stainless steel, and nickel-based alloys, also oxidize to varying degrees, depending on composition and temperature. Critical factors The primary factors affecting high temperature oxidation are metal temperature and alloy composition. Oxidation of carbon steel begins to become significant above about 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The 300 series stainless steel are resistant to scaling up to about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Rates of metal loss increase with increasing temperature. In general, the resistance of carbon steel and other alloys is determined by the chromium content of the material. Increasing chromium levels produce a more protective oxide scale. The presence of water vapor can significantly accelerate oxidation rates of some steels including 9 chromium, 1 molybdenum. As illustrated in table, estimated oxidation rates mils per year of commons alloys. And, as illustrated in figure, estimated oxidation rates based on the data in table. Affected units or equipment Significant oxidation occurs in fired heaters, boilers, and other combustion equipment, as well as piping and equipment, that operate in high temperature, oxygen-containing environments, where metal temperatures exceed about 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Appearance or morphology of damage Carbon steel, low alloy steels, and 12 chromium stainless steels suffer general thinning due to oxidation. Usually, the component will be covered on the outside surface with an oxide scale, depending on the temperature and exposure time. Prevention, mitigation, resistance to oxidation is best achieved by upgrading to a more resistant alloy. Chromium is the primary alloying element that affects resistance to oxidation. Inspection and monitoring. Temperatures can be monitored with tube skin thermocouples and or infrared thermography. RT can be used to measure remaining thickness when oxidation occurs on the external surface. UT can be used to measure remaining thickness when oxidation occurs on the internal surface. Electromagnetic acoustic transducer has been used to measure general external wall loss on heater tubes. Related mechanisms Other high temperature gas corrosion mechanisms are sulfidation, 
high temperature H2, H2S corrosion, carburization, metal dusting. Oxidation damage referred to in this section is due to surface scaling. Summary Description Oxygen reacts with carbon steel and other alloys at high temperature, converting the metal to oxide scale. General thinning with an oxide layer covering the surface. Temperature range Oxidation of carbon steel begins to become significant above about 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The 300 series stainless steel are resistant to scaling up to about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Affected metallurgy All iron based materials, including carbon steel and low alloy steels, both cast and wrought. All 300 series 400 series stainless steel and nickel base alloys also oxidize to varying degrees, depending. Prevention Resistance to oxidation is best achieved by upgrading to a more resistant alloy. Chromium is the primary alloying element that affects resistance to oxidation. Inspection methods tube skin thermocouples and or infrared thermography. RT, UT, and EMAT. Review questions. Question number one. What are the primary factors affecting high temperature oxidation? Answer is A. Question number two. Which of the following will suffer oxidation at 1350 degrees Fahrenheit? Answer is D. Question number three. Resistance to oxidation is best achieved by Answer is B This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for next lecture